Hi guys, uh, this is Rahul from Way to Automation. So in this example, we'll be looking at the latest web driver listeners which are implemented in Selenium 4. So if, if you have been working on Selenium 3 or if you have ever used uh, event listeners, you must be knowing that there was some abstract web driver event listener interface and an event firing web driver uh, classes available in, in the previous API. Now, uh, those are deprecated and some of them are completely gone. So you might not be able to access uh, those methods now in your Selenium 4 library. Now here, uh, there are, there's a new implementation of event firing decorator and uh, web driver event listener, uh, not event listener, web driver listener interface, which contains all your listener methods. Some additional methods are added over here for accepting alerts for uh, like uh, timeouts and then navigation and then after click, after close. So a lot of methods you can see over here related to uh, deleting cookies. So whenever you delete any particular cookie, this uh, event lister will be called. And then uh, you can see after finding elements, finding elements and uh, like doing full screen, a lot of, lot of methods you're gonna see. Almost each and every operation that you perform on a web page, uh, you're gonna get some uh, event listener over here. So how are we gonna implement this? Uh, is there any change uh, from the previous implementation? So that is what we'll be learning in this particular lecture. So let us uh, get started. Let us uh, go to our editor and create a new class. And first I'll be uh, creating a class called as my listener. And here I'll be implementing the interface, which is, I'll say implements web driver listener. So let's import this and let's go inside this and see what all methods that we have. So you can see all these methods over here. So a couple of methods we'll try to use like uh, what happened after we fire a click event or after we do send keys like a type event or, or we do navigation, let's say uh, these are before, before, before I'm gonna go to after. So let's say I'm gonna choose after click from here. So let me copy this and let me go over here, say public after click and we'll be uh, providing some definition over here. And let's add a couple more. So let's take after quit. So after we quit the browser, this will be called public void after quit. Then we're gonna use after get. And one more we're gonna add. So you can give it a try to rest of these based on your requirement. And I'm gonna add one for typing that is send keys. Right, so let's just give some definition over here. Just a random print I'm going to do. You can even use uh, like the log4j library uh, and you can, uh, instead of printing it, you can add uh, it to a log file as well. So that uh, whenever a click event happens, let's say if you are automating a website, a script is getting executed and at least 10 time click operation is performed, then the same uh, like, you need not to add the log again and again. So it will automatically be added based on the click event uh, to your log file. So if the click event happened 10 times, it is going to add the log 10 times in your log file. And you can also mention that which element it has actually performed clicked on. So how you can do that? Simply say clicking on an element and then provide the element over here. So your element will be added to that log file, right? And same way uh, for quit, we'll simply gonna mention, let's say test execution completed. And then get, we're gonna say navigated to, 
and we're gonna mention the URL. So this URL will be added in your system out printer in or the log file. And then uh, in send keys, what we'll be doing, we'll first mention typing in an element and we're gonna provide the element. Uh, this is after send keys and why it is showing alert. It, we actually need to uh, mention the character sequence So this after send keys is for the alert. So at times it happens whenever you click on any alert, it may gonna show you an input box as well. So this particular event is for that alert box, not for uh, normal send keys. So if you search for send keys, you may gonna find another send keys that is with the web element and the character sequence that you are entering. So let's just copy this and replace this. And then we'll be able to access the element over here and the character sequence as well. So we're gonna save and third the value as, and let's say if we try to add this key to send over here, so what it prints. So we're gonna check this and uh, once we are done with uh, implementing this my listener, same way you can add other, other methods over here and provide definition to these methods. Now let us implement our uh, event listener class. So what I'm gonna do is let's create a new class over here and say, I'm gonna name it as event listener uh, sample. You could give it any name. And here, first, I'll be defining my original uh, Chrome driver object. So we're gonna say web driver, web driver equal to new Chrome driver. So once we do this, then we need to call our uh, object of the my listener class that we have created. So we're gonna say uh, new my listener and we'll be assigning it to the type that is uh, web driver listener. So web driver listener, and I'll name it as listener equal to this. And then we're gonna import this, control shift O, and then we'll be calling our event firing decorator. So we're gonna create the object of event firing decorator by saying new event firing decorator and let's import this and then uh, we have a constructor in this uh, class if you go a little down you'll see a constructor somebody over here here we need to pass on our listener so listener is basically this so we'll be registering our listener like this and then uh, we're gonna call one of the method called as a decorate. So in this, we'll be passing on our web driver instance like this. So this, uh, now we'll be assigning this web driver driver uh, type to this event firing decorator and whatever action that we're gonna perform using this driver from now onwards. So that all actions will be tracked by your event listener, uh, by your web driver listeners, right? So let's say, uh, now this is the only task that you need to do. You need to create uh, my listener class and implement this web driver listener interface and add your basic listeners over here. And then you first need to create an object of Chrome driver call your my listener class and register your uh, listener by event firing decorator. So this is the only step that you need to do. And rest, what all action normally you do in web driver, you perform all the actions and your listeners will be tracked accordingly. So let's call uh, one of the method, let's say driver.get. Uh, why it is not giving suggestions? Just give me a moment. I guess I need to go to preferences and here just a moment.
and then click on Java, then click on Editor, Code Assist, Advanced, and I may need to turn on these Java proposals. Right, so what I did, I recently downloaded the latest uh, Eclipse 2023 version, 2023.03, and for that, uh, like, now Java 1.8 will not be supported. So in case uh, you are still using 1.8, I would recommend you to move to uh, Java 11, right? Which is another stable version. Don't use a very latest Java like Java 20 or the latest one, which is not supported at this moment. Java 11 is one of the most stable versions. So, so in case you are still using JDK 1.8 because it was the most stable, but latest Eclipse, latest Jenkins, these things have stopped using JDK 1.8. So my recommendation is use JDK 11 because it works with all major integrations, right? All the latest integrations support Java 11. So use JDK 11 so that you should not face any integration related issues. So once you are done with this, and now if I try to do driver.c, I'm getting the suggestions now. So now I'm going to navigate to, let's say, http gmail.com. And then I'm going to say driver.manage.window.maximize and driver.manage.timeouts.com implicitly wait duration dot of seconds to let's say 10 seconds and if i navigate to gmail.com and try to get some locators from there so let me try typing in this input box so here we got identifier id so let me say driver dot find element by dot id this dot send keys and then we'll be entering the email id trainer at way to automation.com and after this i'll be performing some click let's say by dot xpath dot click and after that we'll enter the password so we'll one more time do send keys and then we'll say driver dot quit so let's quickly get the x path of this next button copy x path and then uh, Make sure you're not using any personal email ID of yours because that may not gonna work. Gmail has recently, Google has recently stopped automation on uh, Gmail for external users. So if you use your personal email ID, then you may not gonna see that the password option is showing up. So use either this, this is one of the sample email ID I've created. So just try using this and then uh, try getting this password copy xpath and I'm just gonna enter some random password let's say I'll type password right so let's run this and let's see what output we're gonna get the path to driver executable. We should not get this uh, issue in latest Selenium 4. Make sure the version of Selenium you're using is uh, 4.9 itself. Let me see. Oh, this is a little old version. So 4.9.0. So from 4.6.0 onwards, you don't need to use Web Driver Manager and you don't need to you give any uh, driver executable path like Chrome driver or Firefox driver, a Gecko driver that is, right? So simply do uh, driver equal to new Chrome driver and then just run this code and it should work fine. So let's run it. And we are getting some errors. Uh, maybe in some old classes. So let's ignore for it, ignore those for the timing. And we are getting some warning over here as well. 
So it is asking us to refer a generic type that is web driver. So web driver will gonna add this over here. And then let's run the code and let's see how it works. Okay, just a moment. Some dependency clash in case you encounter any such issues, then you need to add a Guava library. So go to MVN repository and add Guava. Add the latest one. So web driver manager is no more required. Okay, so let's run this and let's see if the error is gone now. And see, the browser is launching. And first navigation, then typing, clicking next. And see, everything is successfully added over here. See, navigated to Gmail, typing into an element, and this is your element. See, ID, XPath, and this XPath, test execution completed. And whatever that we have entered is not properly shown over here, right? This is just printing some garbage value over here, right? Not printing the exact character. So why it is not printing? Because it is, uh, it could be stored in a form of an array, right? It's it's not a single character that is stored. If you go over here, uh, where is your my listener? So we are printing character sequence. See, it is stored in an array. So you cannot print it like this. So how are you gonna print it? Just remove this. Oops. and we need to create an array over here so let's say uh, what i'm going to write is we need to create a loop so int i starts from zero and i less than this keys to send dot length so we need to run an, a loop till the length of this array and then we'll say i plus plus and inside this we're going to print our character sequence, the each index keys to send, and I'm gonna provide the value of i, and then just give a space over here. That's it. Now let's run the code once again to make sure everything works fine. So let's see. And if you see over here, then entered the value as this, typing in an element, this password element, and entered the value as this. So now even if you perform type operation 100 times, you're gonna encounter a different element and a different value dynamically that you have provided while using send keys. Right? So you need not to add the logs manually, you need not to create Every time, uh, let's say if you're using a logger API, so log.info, log.info, every time for that particular event. So just add it in your event listener. Whenever that particular event happened, the log will be added automatically. Right, so log4j we have already discussed uh, in detail in uh, your uh, utility section and even in the frameworks. So try going through the log4j implementation if you have not yet gone through it. But yes, this is the new implementation in latest Selenium 4 API. So try using the latest API itself and no more need to use your web driver manager or providing the Chrome driver or Keiko driver path, right? So that's all in this lecture. Thank you.